So for modern audiences, what does the story of Alexander, what lessons are there for modern audiences in Alexander's story, especially your vision of Alexander's story? You know, I, I think it's getting out of our culture. I think our culture drove me crazy. I mean, between natural born killers, JFK, all the attacks, and Nixon. I've said a lot about our culture, and I, and I kind of felt like at that time, there was a dead end when Bush came in. It was just not really, I didn't want to be around. I said I wanted to, to move on into the past, and I didn't think about it. it there, Bush is a revisionist story because it's ironic that, of course, that he went to Iraq at the same time. I mean, he invaded Iraq with a, like, like Alexander invaded Persia, but Alexander succeeded because he pursued. <laughs> and they actually did greet him that way, by the way, in Babylon. He was greeted as a, as a changer, as a changer of all the old ways, the Persian ways, which were good, but they were also corrupt and, and, and cruel in many ways. So Alexander uh, was, was uh, if, Anybody who betrayed him, as I say, he went after him. He stayed after Darius. The whole point of that story, it's complicated, is that he stayed on Darius's tail for three more years, taking him out of the center of the empire. Instead of consolidating his rule in Babylon, he went after Darius in the northwest of Afghanistan and so forth, because if he, did, he had to have the throne legitimately by destroying Darius. And uh, Bush, of course, you know, instead of going after Osama, which is what he said he would do, he never did. He went and did a diversionary tactic behind him. Alexander would never have done that, you see. With Alexander, he would have chased a mountain bandit for a year, if necessary. If the guy hid up in a mountain fortress, Alexander would lay siege to that fortress for months, if necessary. He would win. And it's important to realize that was his strategy. He never lost a battle. So that's how he became a legend in his time. He never lost. I made a point of it with the elephant charge at the end based on a real story, which is that he could not lose this battle. When he, lost, when he saw his men being defeated by the elephants, he's the only one who charged. And it's based on a true incident that is an amazing incident at Multan in India, when there was a fort they were attacking. The men were, not, were listless, they wanted to go home. He jumped on the wall with, with three bodyguards, and he jumped into like 100, some say 1,000 Indians by himself, he jumped over the wall. The men looked at him, he jumped over the wall. Alexander had finally gone and jumped, and he was committing suicide. So they all changed their mind, and they charged over the, true story, charged over the uh, fort, destroyed the whole village. Alexander had been mortally wounded with a lung into his, uh, in, an arrow into his lung, like in the movie, and barely survived. <laughs>